Hi everyone, this is Alan. Uh, so this is a special recording of my presentation during TRC's Quick Start last May 4, 2014. And before we start, I'd like to give you a virtual applause for taking time out of your day to invest your time and effort to learning something about the stock market. So with that aside, I'd like to ask you, growing up, ba, um, did you like watching cartoons? So I think you're silently nodding, or if not, in your head, you are. Just like me, kids growing up, like a sense of adventure, diba? Being the hero, saving the princess, or kissing the prince, or just having a good laugh. Stock market investing is similar, na isa siyang adventure din, right? For adults, I guess. So, in this instance, I want to give you a chance to become your own cartoon, a hero. And since TRC is about making good people become rich, which entails the common Pinoy to become rich, this is you, right? Pinoy na Pinoy, katipunero, di ba? And since I know that there are a lot of women who read TRC blog and being an equal opportunity blogger, syempre, dapat pantay, di ba? O parang maria clara lang. So moving on, I'd like to share to you my story with TRC, both, both the ups and downs, and the reality of joining and investing in the stock market. So I joined TRC back in 2012. Una monthly monthly muna ako. Uh, I joined as a monthly member just to test it out. Kasi hindi rin ako sure. Eh. Because I joined TRC from years of frustration when I tried to invest alone on my own. I would always succumb to emotions. Like pag bumababa yung presyo, I panic. Nagbebenta ako at a loss. Pag umakit naman, I become greedy. Hindi ko bebenta agad. Baka umakit pa, which eventually goes down. So, I wanted a change. So, noong 2012, nag-join ako. And this is what happened sa stock market sa Pinas. Boom! Right? 2012, 32.95% ang index. So, nakaangkas ako dyan. Like, I bought at buy below prices, sold at target prices. So, what do you think that made me feel? It made me feel happy, right? I'm sure you will be too, diba? So, move fast forward naman, 2013. January to May, highest ever price, 7403.65 for PSE index. Boom na naman, diba? Nakaride na naman tayo dyan. So, how did that make me feel? Happy again, diba? Consistent eh. So, from then, last year, that's last year, May, to December, ano nangyari? Boom! <laughs> Down 20.44%. So, basically, yung gains go from the start of the year, no? I mean, the gains of the PSE index, parang nabawi lang. Actually, it's just 1.4 plus percent for the entire year, yung gain. So, so what do you think that made you feel? It made you feel happier. Why? Because the stocks are on sale. What? Diba? Bumaba ang presyo? Hindi ba dot malungkot ka kasi lugi yung stocks mo? Well, that's the change that I felt with TRC. You see, May yun, diba? June 2013, Brother Bro sent this email via the stocks update. I'm in heaven. Our stocks are going down. So why is that? Remember that when you buy during the scare times like what's happening now, that's when you make the biggest profits. Which may reminded me of a quote I heard from Warren Buffett. Be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. So dun ko naalala yung times na mag-isa ako nag-invest on my own. During these times, dito ako sa others are feel fearful. So I'm part of the others. Diba? Tatakot ako eh. Binibenta ko agad. Now, with TRC, I feel I'm on the side of quote-unquote greedy guys. Na we see opportunities where others feel fear. They see fear, right? So, so what happened 2014, this year, from January to May, it's up 14.5%. So you see, stock and market investing is for the long haul, right? Nakikita natin from day to day, up down, up down. But in the long run, pag nakita mo, y you could see a trend, diba? So these guys seem to see the world differently. Like the people at TRC, parang iba eh. When they see things... Um, parang mas malinaw eh. They see a 
trend, a pattern where the money will go. So, parang naka 3D glasses sila and we're watching a 3D movie. Tapos tayo walang glass. Right? So, that's where I'm gonna pick up my talk. On the three days of investment, TRC style. So, what does this mean? One, the first D, discipline. Diba noon, siya sabi ko, um, I'm a monthly subscriber sa TRC. Actually, after 2012, nung kumita ako, nag-join na ako for a whole year. Annual payment na ako. Plus, that's 20% discount. Anyway, discipline. Monthly ako nagwabayad, but there are times na lilimutan ko talaga mag-invest sa stocks. Why? Kasi, hindi naman ako araw-araw tumututok. One, because busy. Second, kasi hindi siya part talaga ng buhay ko eh. Kumbaga, I only invest during payday. So, what I did, nagsit ako reminder every payday to buy stocks at a certain amount. Like, may fixed amount lang ako pinapasok sa stocks every month. So, so how, how do I choose what stocks to buy? So, for that, nil- nilalagay ko sila sa spreadsheet. So, ito yung column for stocks, a column kung buy below price, a column for target price. So, in current price, kung ano price is today, kung ano today ako bibili, na-update ko lang yan. So, what I do, sinosort ko from highest to lowest na return. This is how it looks. Yan. Firstly, why do I do this? Para makita ko, ano yung mga stocks na sa buy below, above buy below price na. Hindi ko na bibili yan. There so, yan. Makita ko AP and BPI are above the buy below price. Secondly, syempre, I want to see what are the stocks that would give me the biggest return. So, ito. Itinanong ko to sa, sh- sa attendees sa PICC. What do you call yung FPH that has such a high potential return? Do you know the technical term for that? Well, the technical term, quote-unquote, is seductive. Bakit? Kasi parang gusto mo yun na lang at yun ang bilhin. Kasi it's so much higher than the rest of the stocks. Di ba? So you want to maximize the profit. Which leads me to the second D, which is diversification. So what would have happened kung lahat ng pera mo nilagay mo sa FPH, hoping for a jackpot return? May 28, 2013. San Lorenzo gas plant shuts down from fire. This is under FPH. Sila may ari nito. This is troubling news. Kasi isa sa planta nila, nasunog ang transformer. It will affect their profits. So soon soon after this news came out, nag-email agad si Brother Bo. Not, not yung stocks of Vita. Just a plain email kasi mabilisan. He told us to Hold FPH, don't buy, don't sell. Kasi they'll have to analyze what, what's the impact, what the impact is. Diba? So this is a good part of TRC. Kumbaga, previously kung di ako kasali and I have FPH, I probably would have sold it already. Right? Kasi nagpapanik ako eh. So in this case, TRC serves a safety net for me. Na hindi ko, mag, hindi ako papadala sa emotion. I'll do the logical thing and wait it out. So a few days later, June 13, June 10, 2013, TRC sent this email, switch FPH and SMPH, which is SM, to TEL, which is PLDT. So they gave, after proper analysis, they suggested us to switch stocks. Kasi pareho naman mababa, and that PLDT ang unang aakyat based on their analysis. So actually during this time, Funny story, my friend ako na CPA and he knows someone from FPH. Sabi niya, nung friend, sabi daw ng friend niya, hindi naman daw grabe yung nangyari sa FPH na planta. Mabilis din makaka-recover. So ako naman, medyo torn, no? Sino ba susundan ko? So what I did, 75% ng FPH ko, binenta ko na during this time and left the 25% to see if it's true, di ba? Sayang naman. So, Awa naman ng Diyos, bumagsak ang stocks ng FPH from positive, from super positive to nag-red siya actually for me. Then, actually recently lang, last week lang, I think I sold it at a small profit. And yun, kami naman friend ko, friends pa rin naman kami. <laughs> friends pa rin naman kami. Ang difference lang, he's now part of the RC. So yeah. So, one more benefit of diversification. If you notice, the top winners ng True Lilch Club <coughs> siguro 
almost half of that, I think, naka-join ako because I diversified. Two things. First, estimated returns are different for each stock. You can never tell kung abot siya sa target price or not, or lalagpasan niya. So if you see, FPH and JGS sa baba, 32%, 33 and JGS, mga around 40 it took us for FPH around two years, JGS one and a half to reach that. Titigman on AGI, Alliance Global, 16.88, but you got that in just one month. Sulit pa rin, di ba? So it's nice to diversify your investments kasi you can never tell in terms of speed and the size of the returns. Right? So moving on, sabi natin, you hit the target price. What will you do? Diba? So that's the 30, which is do it again. Kasi, for example, you have 1 million pesos. You got 20% return. 200,000, diba? Anong gagawin mo dyan? Pang shopping? Pang abroad? Diba? Ang goal ng TRC, and your goal as well, is to retire comfortably. Diba? And that entails having a big sum in your retirement. Cash na ba 200,000? Mukhang hindi. But how about 10 million? 20 million, 30 million. That sounds better, diba? So I want to introduce you to the rule of 72. This rule um, calculates how fast your money doubles given a certain rate of return or interest rate. So for example, 4% return every year. Kahit nga time deposit, hindi na ganun eh. But we will be generous. For example, time deposit mo, 4%. 72 divided by 4 is 18. 18 is the number of years na magdo-double yung money mo. So, for example, at age 29, may 100,000 ka. At age 47, magdo-double na yan sa wakas, 200,000. And at age 65, magiging 400,000 na siya. So, in 36 years, from 100,000, naging 400,000 lang. That's 4%. Ano ba ang rate ngayon sa savings? 0.25. It's gonna take you 288 years for it to double once. Diba? So let's jump to um, 12%, which is a conservative long term return for a stock market. So 72 divided by 12 is 6. So every 6 years, like the double your money more. So at age 29, 100,000. 35, that's 200,000. So at age 41, 400,000. That's equal already of what you'll get at age 65 if you invested it in a 4% returning ve vehicle, right? So at age 65, your money would have doubled 6 times already, right? 1, 35, 2, 41, 3, 47, 4, 53, 5, 59, and 6 at age 65. That's 6.4 million. The difference, 6.4 and 400,000. That 6 million is worth 20 years of work for a person earning 25,000 a month. You see na skip mo yun just by doing it again and again. Putting your money, even that profit, back into an investment that returns 12%. All it ulit. Party da po to kasi this is 100,000 one time only. Paano kung iniikot ikot mo yan, diba? It's gonna be a lot bigger. So, do it again, just do it again, compound. Take advantage of the rule of 72 and the power of compounding. And of course, with TRC, we like to offer deliver. Right, so fourth D is dividends. Nalalamo earlier, FPH was sold and w we were told to buy TEL, which is PLDT. Part of that email was this part. PLDT gives a very handsome 4.5% dividend each year. So, ano bang dividends? This is re the return, yung share mo sa profits ng company. Right? 4.5%, that's pretty generous. Kasi ang inflation natin, 3 to 5% on average. Diba? So, ibig sabihin yan, yung pera mo, hindi lumilit ang value. At itong 4.5%, that's on top of yung mga returns mo, like kanina sa FPH, 33%, JGS, 40%. Hiwalay pa to. And it's even better than time deposit. Bakit? Savings account, including time deposit, are taxed 20%. Dividends, 10%. So, 
see so to, re to recap the, the four d's one is discipline two is diversification three is do it again and fourth is dividends so i'd like to end with one of my favorite quotes of all time it's by Niccolo Machiavelli where he says all courses of action are risky so prudence is not in avoiding danger but calculating risks and acting decisively make mistakes of ambition and not mistakes of sloth develop the strength to do bold things and not the strength to suffer and with that I invite you to join the Truly Rich Club by clicking the link below you'll definitely won't regret it and take advantage of the 30 day money bank guarantee so there's it's practically risk free if you have any more questions just feel free to email me at admin at trulyrichclubblog.com and if you want a copy of this slides or a copy of the excel file i use just say hi to me and i'll send i'll hook you up with those files thanks